Oh, this is Two Bad Dudes Gaming. Yo, what up? I'm Gerald. I'm Brian. And uh, in honor of the new movie, yeah, we're going to be checking out uh, a uh, Godzilla game. Yeah. Probably not one that you've heard of. I didn't know about it. This isn't the Nintendo one. No. Nope. From, uh, from the 80s that we all fondly like, that was actually a really difficult game and very bad. I liked it. I liked it when I played it. I liked it when I played it. 20 years ago. It was a long time ago. Literally, I played I, it in like 20 years. I, I played it from what, my friend Dana's house, and he was a big Godzilla fan. Yeah. Super big Godzilla fan. Hi. But so Godzilla's had a kind of kind of tough history, because when you try to imitate a Godzilla game... Yeah. It's, it doesn't work. Yeah, well, I mean, Godzilla by his nature is very sort of big, slow, and lumbering. Yeah. Well, they could so also that, just make it like a destroy things game and they never have so um well the thing is it's just going around and stepping on buildings gets old after a while yeah oh man so, so we're gonna be checking out this arcade game from wait. the 19 from 1993 i can't hear wait one there you go okay there we go all right so we got mecha Ghidorah, king Ghidorah, megalon i don't know why it's megaron oh wait because they can't do yeah you can't do L's. Megalon. That's actually Megalon. So, we're gonna be in Nagoya. Yeah, I'm, uh, Mechagira. I'm Godzilla. Yeah. So, the sprites look really nice. I like how the sprites look. So, it seems pretty limiting. You have three buttons, you've got a tail whip, a jump. By the way, the but one of the buttons is jump, jump, which you never do in a fighting game. Yeah. I wanna look at the range I've got on this putt. Hold on. Don't, don't hit me. Like, see how close I have to get <laughs> before this punch registers. Yep. But the, the tail whip has a little bit more range. <laughs> Not much. No. Nope. Oh, oh no. Yeah, special attack. Oh, there we go. And, uh, that was mine. You I'm trying. Press I'm all trying. through the buttons. I'm, I'm pressing everything. Have you ever played Marvel vs. Capcom? Yes, all the time. All right. Well, it's, it's that. Brian. There you go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You got a dash. I got a dash. Maybe sometimes. I don't know. I can't dash. I can do a little kick. Oh, you can like you can do a little few different things depending on if you do up and down. I like his only his only air move is just to awkwardly kick. Yep. <laughs> Uh-oh, I missed with my lasers. <laughs> so... Yeah. Uh... I always thought Gator was kind of weird. So, you are my number one Godzilla fan friend. <laughs> Every nerd friend has got a Godzilla fan. Yeah. As a friend. Yeah. And you, you are, you yeah. are mine. Well, I, I watched him as a kid growing up because my uncle used to go to comic book conventions. And he'd bring me back the, the fan subs. Really? So you yeah, got to watch. Yeah. So you I got to watch as, them in Japanese. Yeah, I, I watched them as they came out. Okay. Like, like in the early '90s and stuff. Like even after or before the reboot. Because I, I watched them all. Because I watched Godzilla movies pretty religiously when I could get them, but yeah. I never owned any. I, they, I watched them on TV. Uh, WGN would have like Godzilla yeah. weekends. Yep. I, I actually remember one of those that I still have recorded on VHS. That was it was Michelangelo, the Ninja Turtle, hosted. A bunch of Godzilla movies. You realize that that is, sounds awesome and you need to capture that. It's important. Whoa! Huh. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but I did it. And you did a thing, too. Well, there's my laser. Um, yeah, I really... I'll, I'll, I need to find those videos. I am somewhere. Those are important, it sounds like. Yeah, it was, it was just a dude in a Michelangelo costume. <laughs> <laughs> just talking in, like, in between the commercials, you know, and stuff. Hey, dude! Yeah. Check out... Oh, look at that Godzilla, bro! <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. I liked it a lot. And so, um... You know, but, like, you know, my, my uncle was able to kind of show me all the Godzilla stuff as it was coming out. That's pretty cool. And he would also give me, like, the figures and the cool toys and stuff from the conventions. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I remember back when, like, for some reason in the later 90s, and it wasn't because of the Godzilla 2000 or... Oh, you gotta hit start. I was, I was, I was interested. Um, in it, and it wasn't because of the Godzilla 2000 movie, and it wasn't because of the 96 movie, but they started carrying Godzilla toys in the stores. And they're actually really nice toys. 
And uh, but it was after the reboot, and so like a lot of people hadn't seen those figures and toys, and so it was kind of weird. Like they had Violent and stuff. I'll get your shit missiles, knee missiles. That's just a move, by the way. That's not a special. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I don't know. Um. So you know. <laughs> oh man, look at him go. I can still and, can't uh, punch you. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> yep. And. uh... And, and so, but I knew who all these monsters and stuff were that were coming out. And I, you know, I got really excited because I was like, oh man, you know, it's like Violent and, and, you know, all these other dudes that, you know, had never been out in America and hadn't been translated or anything. And right. I just, I didn't really understand why those came out at such a random time. Just, you didn't care, you were just, you yeah, just I was your toys. Yeah, that was cool. I mean, but, uh... You know, yeah, and so I watched, like, the old ones, you know, after, uh... Well, because, I mean, a lot of them came out in the 80s, and those were funny. And, you know, like, it... So, are you a fan of the Showa-era Godzillas? Because I know a lot of hardcore fans are not. I like... You know, I, I like different things about both of them. Because the... The older ones are more comedic. And I thought that was funnier. Now, by older ones, you're talking 80s, 70s. Yeah. Okay. Right, right. After the re before the reboot. So, because some of those, like, Son of God, I think it was Son of Godzilla, were just <laughs> dumb. <laughs> yeah, that was so good. I loved that a lot. That's the one I watched uh, quite a bit of. And that, was, that was the one that was basically made for, like, five year olds. Yeah, it was. It was. Well, because the thing was, they had, like, you know, like, well, they had Gamera, who was, like, you know, the protector of the children and stuff like that. And so they, that was the competitor to Godzilla, right? Right, and so they wanted to make like the, a the, the kids version, right? Yeah, of that. exactly. Ah. And so that was kind of in, in, in high. I can eat your bullet or eat your missile. <laughs> I don't think it hurt me. Fire! Can you just kick it? Yeah, I can. No, I didn't it hurts kick it you good. though. No, uh, did it? No, no you, if you time it, you can. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> I like this game. I'm just gonna have to punch you now. Alright. <laughs> um, or do some Tybo. One yeah. of the two. Tybo! Look, look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> but I actually, I like the redesigns and the costumes and, and the monsters and stuff more in, in the, in the, after the reboot. And then they got, you know, they got to be more serious of uh, movies and stuff too at, at that point. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that was a magical barrage. <laughs> well, my real heads flew off and my robot head stayed on. <laughs> so that happened. Um, like, one of my favorite movies ever, though, was actually one of the older ones. It was Destroy All Monsters. Because it just had everybody in it. <laughs> now, that was from the... When was that from? Like, the late 70s? Nah, was I that? think that was early 80s. Early 80s? Because okay. it was after they had established a bunch of the monsters. Okay. Wait. So now you're King Ghidorah. No, I didn't. I didn't pick him. Oh, oh. I didn't pick anybody. You want to be Mecha Ghidorah? No. Or Gigan? Could be Gigan. 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 This, this, this is this is conspicuously missing. Uh, who's who's? What's the one? Jet that Jaguar. I was gonna say Jet yeah. Jaguar. The, yeah. the 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 Ultraman. Yeah. We need Ultraman characters in our Godzilla. <laughs> Jet Jaguar is the best. That's actually one of my other. That's probably my second favorite. Now, what, what movie was Jet Jaguar? That was Godzilla vs. Megalon, which had Megalon and Gigan against uh, Jet Jaguar and, uh, and Godzilla. And Godzilla. And the thing was, like, that one is actually pretty popular and yeah. well known because of Mystery Science Theater. Also, well, yeah, um, because they they did that. They, one. they did that one. I remember that one, and the uh, Jet Jaguar was great. Yeah, I love Jet Jaguar. The, um, there's a few that Mystery Science Theater did, and I actually, I watched those a lot too, because yeah. my uncle also was pretty into Mystery Science Theater, so. Right. No, look at my, <laughs> there we go. Eat my beans. So. And so, uh, yeah, a guy again. I always thought he was really overpowered. This seems very. This seems like they could have a lot more characters, but this was also made in 1993. Yeah, and it was for so, the arcade. So they probably didn't so. have a lot of memory, so they just took the most popular ones. Yeah, at the time, I think Godzilla vs. Megalon was kind of pretty popular. Was that but like an early 90s, late 80s one? Or? That was that was in the 80s, I believe. I could be totally wrong. 
But the, the weird thing is, though, like you said, there's no Jet Jaguar, but there's Guy Gan and Megalon. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they kind of go hand in hand. So we haven't really talked about the new uh, Godzilla movie at all. No, I, I've i seen it. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. So you are the hardcore Godzilla fan. I like Every, it. Like you're the, too. You're the only hardcore Godzilla fan I know yeah. that doesn't hate that movie. Really? Because I, th- I know <laughs> three hardcore Godzilla fans who despise that movie. Really? I thought they did a good job. It felt like a Godzilla thing? movie. Yes, I will agree there. And I overall liked the movie. It did some things I didn't like. <laughs> I really liked the fighting. I thought it was good. Uh, here's the thing. I thought the la- I thought. I don't know if we I want th- to talk too much about it to spoil it, but I, I don't. I don't. I would say don't talk about what happened. All I'll say is that there I, is one fight in it that is awesome. Yeah. And it cuts away from the other fights. Mm, yeah. Painfully so. Yeah. Painfully. Mm-hmm. I I was yeah. up in my seats. I was so angry. I I don't understand why they did that. I want to say it was a budget reason, but I, I just know. cannot figure out like. It's like watching a porno, and just as she's about to go down, <laughs> cut away, <laughs> cut away from it. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's what it felt like, right? Yeah, no, I agree. Like, what am I watching this thing for? I'm watching this thing for the Godzilla fights. Yeah. Don't take me away from the Godzilla fights. Well, I, I actually did not know if Brian Cranston was in it. Oh. Because I, I hadn't watched any trailers, I hadn't seen any posters, See, I hadn't seen nothing. I While I didn't watch the trailers, I usually oh. close my eyes. Oh, you're still alive. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I hear the trailers. Right. So yeah, I heard. I had, I had no Cranston. idea, so I was just like, ugh. That's the best, that is the we best gotta go way, cook. That is the you best know, way to go into a movie, is seeing nothing. <laughs> right. And then, um, and then you had... I, I really like that Ken Watanabe. Watanabe, yeah. He's yeah. great. Yeah. The, it, 95% of the scenes he was in looked shocked. <laughs> Whatever yes. he was looking at. <laughs> it didn't matter what he was looking at. He had the... It was It was probably... I, I think it probably was the easiest role for him to play in any movie Whoa. ever. <laughs> uh, he didn't make those noises. But. No, he didn't. But, he, but I'm... They can't see my face, so I'm right. just saying what his face was saying. Yeah. It was whoa. So I, I I didn't talk about the best part of the Godzilla vs. Megalon movie. Yes, go on. Was when um when Jet Jaguar was holding uh, Megalon up behind his arms. Yeah. And then Godzilla never did this again in any fucking movie ever. <laughs> but he he did a sliding tail kick. <laughs> Like four times. Like he bends back and slides yeah. forward on his t- I've yeah. seen that. Someone did a haters gonna hate thing with that. <laughs> I, I had seen that. <laughs> Just in sliding forward yeah, on yeah, haters yeah. gonna hate. Yeah, yeah that's accurate. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's my that's my favorite. That's my specific favorite any Godzilla movie thing ever. Was that <laughs> like I died? So as as, as a kid, as, were as you a like, "Oh my god, that's awesome," or as a kid, were you like, "Oh my god, that's so dumb"? I think I laughed hysterically, and I kept rewinding it because it was so funny. <laughs> so you know, my humor as a kid stuck with me as an adult. So, <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah, so the the Godzilla movie, I liked it. I felt like they did a good job for still Americanizing it, but keeping the feel of it, you know? I, I mean, it was so much more of a Godzilla movie than the 1998 one. I, and I hated the that 1998 That doesn't one. exist. Yeah, it was a terrible movie. It was 96. How did, no, it was 98. I got, re, I got corrected it's many eight. times when I said 96. Okay, it was 96 times. too. I thought so. Oh. Um, anyway, yeah, that piece of shit doesn't exist. Uh, didn't um, they try to, like, work it into the Godzilla continuity in some really weird, funny <laughs> way to make it, like, make <laughs> well, be basically they, pointless? Well, they, they had that Godzilla, which... They refer to him as Zilla. Zilla, yeah. Uh, he's actually in Final Wars. Really? Yeah, he dies in like three seconds. <laughs> and he, he's really small, and he just gets fucking murdered. <laughs> and that's, that's, Final Wars is a very good movie. I haven't seen... Uh, I don't think I saw Final Wars. I saw Godzilla 2000 in theaters. So. That, was, that, was, that wasn't too bad. I liked it. It was okay. It felt like when Godzilla wasn't on screen... I felt like yeah. I was like, where's Godzilla? Yeah, exactly. So everyone else is kind of shitty. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? That's like, like the this movie felt like it was, you know, an Americanized movie. I'm trying to do something other than shoot knee missiles at you, but nah. uh, it's not working. Gonna, Go on. I'm gonna poke you. <laughs> Come here. I'm gonna tie bow you. Yeah. Uh, we haven't done any like throws. We need to do throws. Go ahead. Try to throw me. All right. 
It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Um. Oh man, look at all that shit. Did that kill me? Oh, that did kill me. Um. Uh, I liked it. I, I liked that Godzilla movie. Um. The we'll go Godzilla 2000. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 2000, I liked. Um, it was kind of boring. Well, the but... thing is, they, they, it seemed like when the Godzilla wasn't on screen, it was made for five-year-olds mm, or something. Yeah, and... they're, 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 like, they keep trying to appeal it to kids, and that's kind of why I like this, what they did with this one here, because they didn't try to make it appeal for kids, it was just kind of like a, it was a generic, like, you know, government conspiracy type, you know, mm-hmm. action movie or whatever, and with some monsters in it. You know, or whatever. Yeah. And you know what? That it worked for what they were trying to do. I think. I, I think it was. I think it was a perfectly serviceable Godzilla movie. I have but not heard my friends who hated the movie. One of my complaints. What they didn't like about it. One of my complaints. So I thought they made Godzilla look too weak. Too weak. Yeah. Okay. Like. Oh, oh your, dear. Your head just kind of flew off. So should he have just come in and just wrecked no. the hell out of everybody? Then? No, 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 no. I, I mean, like in the fight. Like I don't really want to say what happens in the movie. Okay. But like, there's one part where I was just like. I oh, hate bad moth. moth. That's it, it's not. That's not bad moth. It's, it's not bad moth. Or that's, bad uh, moth. Or. It's uh, B. Uh, shit. What's his name? It starts with a B. Um, I can't remember his name. No. Huh. Huh. So I guess there is some more characters in this. I guess you get some boss characters yeah. of some sort. Wait, what is his name? It starts with a B, and I can't remember it because he was only ever in one movie. So, um, but yeah, like, there was this one part where I was just kind of like, really? Why, why would you have Godzilla do that? And, I don't know. That, that was, I was just kind of like, huh. And then, like, I mean, it makes sense with, like, how they do the story stuff. And I thought the I mean, ending I thought... was pretty funny because as he was walking away, I'm sure he murdered at least a thousand more people. <laughs> Uh, and, and, you know, it should just, you know, pans across the, the, the cast and they're all happy and everything well, that Godzilla's saving them. What I like is that, is, is that unlike the other, unlike the other movie, Godzilla's not a bad guy. Woo. Godzilla, he's, but what's interesting is that Godzilla isn't really a good guy so yeah, much as Godzilla he's, he's is out just... for himself. It's that, it's pure, purely that... And I was watching this with someone. Mm-hmm. I was watching this with Clarissa. Yeah. And she's a big H.P. Lovecraft fan. Uh huh. She was saying it's very similar to that. Oh, okay. In that it's like these yeah, yeah, enormous yeah, yeah. creatures that don't care about you. Yeah. They barely even know you exist. Right. You are purely there as like. Yeah. You are purely there as father, and yeah. they are out to take care of themselves. Yeah, because Godzilla knows humans can't fuck with them. Yeah, they're, they're not. They're yeah. not an active threat to him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it doesn't matter. And. So it's like the cosmic horror of like yeah. these things don't yep. care about you. They don't. Yep. They barely know you exist. They're yep. like you're like ants to them. Yep. Like n- very few ants have ever killed a human. Yep. And Except those weird African death, death <laughs> ants. But you know that's that's, you know, that's a different story. <laughs> but there have been some humans that have done damage to Godzilla too. Yeah. Not many. Nah, not many. So, but and they and uh, it's already been so successful. They've already said that they're gonna make a second one. Which done tons and tons and tons of money. Uh, so yeah, like right now, I think it's over a hundred million. Yep, so that's pretty good for a Godzilla movie. Yeah. Very good. And uh, yeah. I'll admit that when Godzilla wasn't on screen, yeah, it wasn't awful. Yeah. Now you play this part because sure. I want to see this. Oh, I'm gonna, gonna play fight it. myself. But um, Let's see if I can even. Godzilla was uh, but. The parts not on screen were well acted and well done. Yeah, um, and they got you know they got well known people. Yeah, like, got, they got real decent actors. Yeah, do stuff. Um, I there's just there's parts that I had problems with. Yeah. Um, but oh, but overall it didn't ruin my enjoyment of it. Nah, I thought it for what it was it was good. Yeah, I mean it could have been a lot worse. It could have been. We have seen much worse. Yeah. Um, I mean that '98 Godzilla is horrible. I yeah. mean that that was basically. Uh, let's take, you know, Jurassic Park, and yeah. let's take the, the thing, and Oh my these... god, did you read what the next Jurassic Park's plotline's gonna be? No. Oh my god, it's amazing. Look, the third one, <laughs> was it uh, was the third one that was awesome because they, like, swallowed a guy, and they found him, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, the, his cell phone the rung yeah. and stung, yeah, stung no. inside the guy's stomach, <laughs> inside the dinosaur's stomach? No, no, the, the, the new one is... Are they combining humans and, and dinosaurs? I Almost. Think? 
they 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 open a new park and they start splicing dinosaur DNA. So they put all the terrible parts of everything together. Awesome. You know, like Velociraptor and T-Rex and Pterodactyl. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna get a Pteroraptor and yeah, a Velociraptor. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. And then and then <laughs> and then they breed good dinosaurs that are like pets that this... follow human commands. This sounds to awesome. fight the other dinosaurs. Oh, <laughs> oh the Martians win. Okay, well, yeah. So Jurassic Park. So that that sounds awesome. I'll watch it. Yeah, no, because the watching. first Jurassic Park was great. Second one was horrible. Yeah, third one was corny and awesome. Yep. So so but, um. Anyway, that is Godzilla. I yeah. think we're gonna try another Godzilla thing. Yeah. So, we're, uh, not not yeah. Not right not right, right this second. Not this so, second. But uh, we're gonna yeah. try. There's gonna be some more Godzilla for you. So Maybe. Uh, check us out later, guys. So yep. uh, thanks for watching. Yep. Hope you learned some Godzilla stuff. Yeah. Hope we yeah. didn't spoil too much. Yeah. And if you want to see us play other Godzilla games, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Oh, well, there's some pretty bad ones. There are some pretty bad ones. Pretty bad ones. Yep. All right. Okay. See ya. <laughs>